Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anti-Study Study Club. This is David from Core Language. Really happy to see you again. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about uh, a painting that doesn't have a subject. So what do I mean by subject? Well, the last painting we looked at had a very clear subject. There was a couple, remember there were two people and they were embracing and the man was kissing the cheek of the woman. So that painting had a very, very clear subject. The one before that, we had people on the riverbank in Paris and they're sitting by the river and it's very clear what the subject of that painting is. There are people in that painting. This painting that we're going to talk about today has no subject. What? So what do we do with a painting with no subject? Okay, the painting we're talking about today is called Convergence. And the artist is an American artist named Jackson Pollock. This was painted in 1952. Here we have a picture of Jackson Pollock working. Jackson Pollock used paint in a very different way. He would put the canvas, canvas is the surface that you paint on, so he would put the canvas on the floor and you can see him here dripping the paint onto the canvas. So he used a really different method. He would drip the paint, he would pour the paint, he would splatter the paint onto the canvas. And the paintings don't have a, a clear subject. There, there are no people, there's nothing we can recognize. So that makes it an abstract painting. If it's abstract, there's nothing that we can really tell what is that. Jackson Pollock was an abstract expressionist, which means that his paintings were about expression. He wanted to express himself through his art. He wanted to say something about what's happening inside of him um, and not just paint a nice picture of people or boats or a landscape. Okay, let's take a look at this painting more closely. What is happening in this painting? This is a very large painting and the painting uses black and white splashes and splatters of paint. The paint is forming circular shapes, swirling shapes to create a field of chaos and energy. On top of those black and white colors, we can see some very strong splashes or splatters of primary colors. The feeling of this painting expresses the artist's emotions. What do you think his emotions were? Um, when you look at this painting, what do you think he's feeling? Does it feel like chaos? Chaos is not order, it's the opposite of order. Is it chaotic? Is it random? He is making swirls and circles and splashes and splatters, lines, and all of it comes together in a way that makes people think, hmm, what is this about? Is this beautiful? Is this art? What do you think about this one? When this was painted in 1952, this painting was controversial. Many people were used to seeing paintings with a very clear subject. They were used to seeing a painting about people, about uh, nature. And now all of a sudden, 
we have something that we don't know what it is. Uh, it's abstract, but it's very expressive. Jackson Pollock was an abstract expressionist. That's the kind of painter he was. The images are abstract, we don't know what it is, but we sense a strong emotion. And the point of this painting, the idea of this painting, is to show us this emotion, to express what's happening inside of the painter. Uh, I had the chance to see this painting, um, and it's very large, it's a really big painting. And my feeling when I was standing in front of this painting uh, was kind of like standing in front of the sea, of the ocean. Uh, in my mind, I was thinking about waves and water swirling and moving. And the effect was a lot like that. Uh, I thought this painting was very powerful. Uh, there's a lot of energy and there's a lot of movement in this painting. And for me, it was very exciting to look at. But people have very different opinions. So that's what I mean by controversial. If something is controversial, people feel strongly good about it. They say, oh, this is great. Or they feel strongly bad about it and say, oh, that's awful. That's terrible. And his ideas, they were controversial in 1952. But I think today we are used to seeing abstract paintings and paintings that are about emotions and not just about a person or nature or you know, cats and dogs or, or, or some subject, some thing, right? I talked about that word chaotic. Uh, chaotic is the adjective. Chaos is the noun. And some people feel like Pollock's work is kind of chaotic. Chaotic is the opposite of order. Um, here's a painting by another artist. This is Piet Mondrian. And his work is abstract. There's no clear subject here, right? But in this painting, we see ordered shapes. This, this painting feels very ordered. And if we contrast with the Jackson Pollock painting, the, the feeling in the Jackson Pollock painting feels more chaotic, right? It feels more random. In Mondrian's painting, these shapes are very purposeful. He, he had a plan. He had a plan when he was putting these shapes on the paper. And Jackson Pollock's paintings are more about freedom. He probably didn't have a, a plan in his head. He just started painting. And the feelings that he felt come out on the canvas. And we can see that in this painting. It might be chaotic for some people. For some people, it's beautiful. To me, it reminds me of the abstract patterns we see in nature. For other people, it's something they could, they feel like they could do this, or they're, maybe their, their seven-year-old child could make this painting. That's how they feel. So it is controversial still. People still have strong feelings. They say, oh, that's awful, or wow, that's amazing. So if something's controversial, people have these strong feelings about it, one way or another way. Okay, let's talk about this one more time. What's happening in this painting? Well, I don't know what's happening. What is happening? This is a really interesting painting, right? What is happening here? We see lines and swirls and circles of splattered paint, drips of paint, splashes of paint on a canvas. Most of the colors are black and white, but we see some very strong splashes of primary colors. The feeling from this painting is one of energy, of emotion, of movement, but that's up to you. And that's what Jackson Pollock wanted to do. 
He wanted you to decide what this means. I can't tell you what this means because there is no subject in this painting. How do you feel about abstract art? How do you feel about abstract expressionism? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Do you like this painting? Do you think it's crazy? Do you think it's interesting? I really like Jackson Pollock. I think he is a very interesting and original painter. And that was his painting, Convergence, from 1952. All right, everybody, thanks again for joining me. I'm David from Core Language. I'm really happy to see you again. Remember, wherever you are, uh, if you're understanding a little bit, you're learning. So don't worry if you don't understand everything. Just keep watching and keep listening. You will understand. And I'll see you next time. Do something expressive today. Express yourself. Splash some paint on a canvas. How do you express yourself? Do you express yourself in words, in singing, in, in art, in writing? How do you like to express yourself? Let me know and we'll, we'll talk about it in the comments. Okay, see you next time everybody. Have a great day.